Okay, I was just having a little fun with chat GPT to see if it can solve simple math problems, or well, not so simple ones. I'm not gonna claim this is simple. Simple to some, let's say. So the first question I asked it was, how many zeros does the square root of a Google have? <clears throat> so this is simple to me because I know a Google has 100 zeros, so the square root has half that. So let's see what it says. A Google is a very large number, which is equal to 10 to the power of 100. Yes, that's the definition of a Google, or one followed by 100 zeros, correct so far. The square root of a Google, Google is approximately equal to 10 to the power of 50. Well, it's exactly equal to 10 to the power of 50. Okay, that was good. This means that the number has 50 zeros after the decimal point. Correct, up to that point. Therefore, the square root of a Google has a total of 100 plus 50 equals 150 zeros. No, that's not right. I don't know why it did that last step. It started off good, but then got confused. So I gave it a thumbs down. Okay, then I asked it another easy one. How many zeros does the square root of 1 million have? Well, got that right. A million is 10 to the power of 6. Therefore, the square root of a million is 10 to the third, which is 1,000. Therefore, the square root of 1 million has three zeros. Okay, got that right. Good job. Is exponentiation associative? It, the answer is no, exponentiation is not associative. But like, imagine you didn't understand this thing. It's very convincing. It sounds, it speaks like correctly with, you know, with somewhat uh, techno babble authority. Yes, exponentiation is associative. This means that when we have a series of numbers that are being raised to powers, the order in which we group them does not matter. Ah, no, this is totally wrong. It does matter. In other words, for any three numbers, A, B, C, A to the B power first, raise that to the C power, equals A to the power of B to the C. That's the, if, if, that's the sort of definition of associative, but it's not true. There should be a not equal sign there, okay. This property is known as the associative property of exponentiation. This is hilarious. Then it proceeds to contradict itself. So it, it, it tries to create an example. Okay, two to the three power. So the first line is if you do the two to the three first, then raise that to the four, you get 4,096. Then the second line is if you do the three to the fourth power first, and then you get this gigantic number. And then it says... As we can see, even though we group the numbers differently, the final results is the same. This property holds true for all real numbers A, B, and C. So that's hilarious. So watch out, uh, math students. Uh, don't, don't ask chat GPT for math help quite yet. And this thing is really funny. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.